Hey guys, welcome back again. It's episode 743 of the Blue Starlet. Um, nothing's really changed since last time. We've got the built engine and the new Haltech ECU um, installed on the car. And we've come down today to try and turn some numbers, see if we can get this cranking over 400 horsepower. So switching to the new Haltech ECU, we've got a whole new range of sensors, including pressure and temperature sensors for the cylinder head. So if we see the cylinder head lifting and pushing you know, any combustion into the radiator, we're gonna get an alert there to say there's some pressure in there. Also for the fuel temperature and pressure and the oil temperature and pressure. This allows us to monitor and keep an eye on everything, make sure everything's running pretty sweet. Comparing it to the old Microtech we had, we didn't really have any other safety gear, so this is gonna be really neat. So we got the car on the dyno and Keelan began to set everything up. Um, soon enough, we're ready for a power run and this is what happened. So the first two runs on the dyno and we're already running into problems. When we got the engine above 4000 RPM, the engine AFRs were going above 14 and this is way too lean, especially during a power run. Now it didn't matter if we put any more injector into the engine, we couldn't get the AFRs to change. So this led us to believe that we've got either a fuel pump, a fuel flow or an injector problem. So the first thing to check was the voltage of the pump and the voltage was okay. We had 14 volts there. Um, the next thing to check is we took the lid off the tank and I got a torch and looked inside and we could see the return flow there. Now we went ahead and did a power run just to see if that would drop off or not and this is what happened. So these 044 fuel pumps are meant to be able to handle 550 horsepower at the wheels and we're only at 260, so they're definitely not out of um, puff yet. Um, at this point, the 044 fuel pump started to get noisy. I had a brand new one, so we went and fitted that to the car and did another run. The return flow come good. So even after that run, we tipped just below 300 horsepower. Um, the fuel flows come good, the fuel pumps, they feel nice and cool now, and we're getting plenty of voltage there, but there's still an air fuel problem, and even though Kellen's adjusting the injectors, we still can't get the air fuels down as low as we need them, which is around 12 to 12.2. Um, we decided to call it quits there, and I've got some new fuel filters on the way. I've also pulled the injectors out, and we're gonna go get those flow tested. We're gonna get those cleaned, and then we'll get those flow tested again and see if there's a problem there. Um, we don't want to risk it and push it any further, so we'll get those things sorted and we'll get it back on the dyno. Anyway guys, that's all I've got for today. I just want to say a big thank you to all the members who have joined the channel. Your contribution really means a lot. If anyone else wants to join, um, just click that join button below and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.